Hello, dear friends, I'm with you. Just the other day, the developers of the Ice and Flame mod released an update, and I know that you wouldn't have forgiven me if I hadn't made a video on this topic. Therefore, today's review is once again devoted to the mythical creatures added to, to the mod. I will immediately note that they added kites to us. There are two varieties of them flying and floating, and we will start perhaps with the latter. Sea snakes are distant relatives of dragons. The creatures are extremely ferocious. The bestiary tells us that they live in warm waters all over the world. By warm, apparently, we mean all seas that are not covered with ice, and not only those that are near deserts and jungles. At least, I was able to observe them, even in the sea near a birch grove. They look like a hybrid of a moray eel and a Chinese dragon, and they reach colossal sizes, even more than giant desert worms, Sea snakes come across very beautiful colors. There are even such bright ones purple and red. But don't be deceived by their beautiful appearance. In fact, sea snakes are very aggressive and attack everything they see. They eat not only marine life, ranging from twisting, ending with sirens, but even attack boats and those who are on the shore. So even on land near water, you are not safe. Yes that there are other creatures. Sea snakes are hostile even towards themselves like. Two sea snakes can hardly get along on the same territory. And keep in mind, sea snakes are not only very strong, they are also terribly fast. So fighting them is not an easy task. These waterfowl dragon cousins have three types of attack. In addition to bites, which are not weak than smears, Sea snakes are able to jump out of the water and collapse their carcass on the victim. And that that's not all. At a distance, they will also get you because they can spit a powerful jet of bubbles. In general, if you met a sea serpent, then you know that in front of you is a thunderstorm of the seas, a real killing machine. Despite all of these wonderful properties of these animals, because of their extremely aggressive temperament, you will not be able to get yourself such a friend they do not tame. After death, sea snakes drop teeth and scales, which are extremely valuable loot. First of all, you can make arrows out of teeth and scales, the flight of which is not extinguished in water, like all other arrows. That is, you can shoot them from the surface under water, and just under water, which is very convenient, for example, when hunting the same sea snakes, well, or for any other spear fishing. In addition, from the scales of sea snakes and sirens for the hippocampus, you can craft a guardian armor, which also gives us its buns. First of all, any part of such armor provides underwater breathing. In addition, each additional piece of armor adds strength to us, however, only on condition that we are in the water, well, or on land in the rain. In general, a full set of sea serpent armor is slightly better than a full set of dragon armor. So, if you like sea voyages, hippocampal horse racing or spear fishing, then perhaps the sea serpent armor will be a welcome purchase for you. Well, now let's talk about Amphiptera or Amphipteria. These beautiful flying snakes come in a variety of colors. They live in the jungle and by nature in general are peaceful. However, they attack anything that harms residents or creatures on their territory. Flying kites have several ways to attack. In addition to the fact that they bite, Amphiptera are able to whip their tail. And also, 
by flapping their wings, create a powerful stream of air that throws the enemy back. Amphipteria are in the air almost all the time. They don't even have legs to rest on the ground. Their flight is something extraordinary. Kites are real ace pilots. They flip over the wing, make all sorts of loops, abruptly change direction. And all this is so easy and smooth that you can stick to their flight forever. However, it is their eternal need to fly that makes them vulnerable to arrows. If you manage to hit the Amphiterium with a bow, it will fall to the ground. Being passive by nature, the flying snake will try to escape. If you chase him and get on horseback, then, of course, he will have to resist, trying to get rid of the rider. But the Ficteria bites, and his bites, although not very strong, take away half a heart somewhere, but there can be a lot of them. However, sooner or later, the Amphipter will calm down and tame. By the way, Amphipters can be put on a leash, so if you get close enough, you can grab them with a rope and tie them to the fence. And after that, get on horseback. Flying snakes cannot boast of strength, but they more than compensate for this disadvantage with their speed and maneuverability. Amphipteria is one of the fastest modes of transport. Flying on a flying snake is a cross between flying on other flying creatures and leaders. When you point the cursor up, you go up. When you go down, you go down. In short, wherever you look, you fly there. To take off from the ground, press the shift key and look at the sky. From the back of a flying snake, you can safely shoot a bow or fight with a sword. In the latter case, however, you will have to get very close to the enemy. If you want the flying snake under you to attack, press the same key as for the dragon attack. By default, it is Latin G dot, so it will bite. I didn't understand how to make him beat his tail or flap his wings. It's possible that Amphipters can't do that under a rider. If I'm wrong, write about it in the comments. By the way, if you decide to breed Amphiptera, then you will need to feed them cookies which is almost logical, because they do not live anywhere, but only in the jungle. After death, Amphipteria drop feathers, from which you can craft arrows. Amphipteric arrows have the ability to throw mobs back. And finally, the traditional test of new mobs is the Gorgon's head. You can rejoice. Dear fans of creating sculptures for mobs, both types of snakes, both sea and air, turn into stone. Of course, in survival you will be limited by a number of problems. For example, you can make sea serpent statues only in the water. I'm not talking about how difficult it will be to get close to him and not die. Although, it's even more interesting this way. After all, around the place where you turned the snake into stone, you can build a whole underwater city. And it will immediately have its own legend. In general, summing up the update of the Eisenfy mod, we can say that the developers did well. The update is cool. Thanks to sea snakes, even more traffic has been added to the sea. And now sea travel has become many times more dangerous and, accordingly, more fun. Well, the Milaki Amphiptera are generally beyond praise. Even just looking at them is a pleasure, not to mention how great it is to fly them. I don't know about you, but I personally really liked this update. For sure, some flaws will come out during the game, but we already know that the developers of this mod take their creation very seriously and always eliminate problems that arise. Well, that's it for today, dear friends. Write your thoughts about this update in the comments below the video. Do not forget to put likes 
and see you soon. Bye-bye.